To another episode of the People's Mic, I am Jimmy Peoples. Don't worry about the door. Introduce yourself. I like the color. Look at the hair color. Good. I tried. <laughs> Good. Yeah. My name Good. is Alana Shupak. I. Am I high? I feel like I'm high. Yeah, whatever. What? Whatever. All what the things you do. Do you what else do you do? What credit you get? A lot of, I don't when, know. What do you say when when people say, "Hey, uh, what do you do?" What is that? I say I wear many hats. Yeah, that's a, I, 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 I didn't figure that out until later because I was like, I do so much shit. I mean, you can't just say that to a, you know, to a, but I do shit. I don't, I, uh, and then, then you realize, hey, I write, I act, I, you know, yeah, I walk dogs. I yeah, yeah, I don't know. What do you want? What, do you, what is going to give make you give me what I want? And Right? Yes. Do you, did you, did, have you ever introduced yourself and then I'll ask? Um, Nico. Move, move towards me. So. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, get close. You like get go. Yeah, I, yeah, I like yeah, getting yeah, close. To, amazing. Thank you. Close. Got close. a haircut close. finally, close. which is great. I, I hate it. It's got I a little like it in it. the back, but it's it's all right. Yeah, you you look like a like a like a like a Soho hairstylist. I like it. You look like you're in the Breakfast Club or something. Yeah, the breakfast I, like club. I got that. I looked in the mirror after the haircut, and I was like, I look like the guy that puts Whole Foods in the Bronx. In the Bronx? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, uh, coming. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, wait, 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 um, what is your answer when people are like, "Hey, what do you do?" What do you mean? Like what? Some random guy in the street, random girl in the street. Like, what do you do? Comedian. You say comedian straight out. Boom. Yeah. Nice. I got a joke for. How long did it take you to get there? Right away. I didn't really? give a shit. Even before you did comedy, comedian. Yeah. No, like uh, <laughs> when I started doing comedy, I did it right away. And then um, people were like, we'll say something funny. And I didn't say anything funny for yeah. like two years. Yeah. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to say I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a waiter, which is what makes me money. And then I learned like through meeting people what kind of jokes they would like to hear if they would were to ask me, say something funny, if I were to tell them I was a comedian. So I kind of learned how to have like a default go-to for every single type of person. But I hate I hate that uh, – that It kind of trains you. people's eyes dim when yeah. they don't like – what you do? That's why I always have like four ready answers. I'm yeah. like, I'm a speech therapist. I'm an accent coach. I'm a comedian. Don't make me say anything funny, but I'm a comedian. <laughs> you I'm say comedian. that. You get, you get the disclaimer. But yeah. you, what, what's the one where people are like, oh, really? You ever get that posture? And then it, 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 I own a business. Yeah. It's the one where you can do something for them. That that's right. Yeah, oh, yeah. that one. I've it's, I've never gotten that. No? So that means I've. Never, I've seen other people get it. I've seen other people. Like, oh, I've seen so do, many people get you know, it, and you, I'm like, you do what? that <laughs> me? <laughs> I'm fucking up. Yeah, I'm not yeah, getting yeah. the right job. I'll say like, ah, oh, we're gonna do this. You know, in the middle, you gonna press it twice. Boom. Press resume. Other side. Other. No, you fucking oh, cock. Fuck. Nope. Go back. back. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Boom. Beautiful. Oh no no. Oh, go live. Go live. You. Zoom, sorry. I'm here. This one, it's uh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Good job. I'm gonna have to stop eating. Yeah, what is it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's. You know, you never get that one really off the bat, but like, yeah, I do this thing, and they're like, oh, really? You know, I've that's. never in my life gotten that from anyone. Sometimes I get it. It's usually for someone else, though. Like, Real, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, I'm an accent coach. They'll be like, my wife needs that. Or, yeah, like, I don't yeah. know, whatever. For, uh, <laughs> so, personal trainer, sometimes I'll get it. Like, okay. sometimes I'll yeah. be like, oh, you're a personal trainer. Like, I've got clients like that. I have got clients like that. That's but, good. Yeah. Eh. But I think, like, personal trainer is, like, one of those things that you can say that really benefits you and, like, more yeah. than, like, the average way. Some wage. girls, sometimes girls will be like, oh, you're a comedian because they think about doing comedy. But it's never because they're trying to fly. Take, don't take them to the people's mic. Yep. <laughs> no, I keep getting marvelous Mrs. Maisel, so I start uh, saying it, and n- nobody says that because they want to fuck. Uh, ever. Uh, Never said, are you like the marvelous Mrs. Maisel? Like, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know from, they're real good. From Jewish like, guys? Real good. From Just any random really? person. Yeah. They're like, you do comedy. Were yeah. you inspired by the marvelous Mrs. Maisel? I'm like, yeah. no, I've been doing this for 10 years. Wow. You got Sometimes, 10 years in? Some, I should well, ask you how long. I should... <laughs> I should say sort of a little on and off, a little bit of a hobbyist at first. Uh, okay. Not every day. I was doing it like on the weekend. Like uh, I was uh, in school, you know, I was okay. like in college. Okay. So. okay. Yeah. Dude, you don't look like you have you have 10 years of, be, yeah, yeah. of being able to get into a bar 10 years. Oh. How old are you? 
I'm 31. 31. So exactly no. 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I think you were like at least 20, 23, 24. Yeah, at most. Sunblock. Thank 20s. you. So, sunblock? God. Large brimmed hats. <laughs> Large brimmed hats. <laughs> That's the new uh, Queer Eye thing that they're going to promote for next yes. season. Large brim hat. Skinless. <laughs> Sunblock. Uh, 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 you Jewish? A little. Can you tell by the nose? Yeah, the, my, the nose. The nose. That's my why voice I had yours. and everything yep, about I'm me. All, my, the nose. I'm all about the nose this year. Yeah, Nothing. no, it's good. Let's say it, let's say it loud and proud. <laughs> I'm proud. I'm I know they have a Rip term for um, blonde Jewish girls. Do they have a term for redheaded Jewish girls? There's a term for blonde Jewish girl. Yeah, that's I heard it's called shis- uh, shiska. shiska. No, that's that's just a straight up female boy. It's a shiksa. What's that? Um, just a female. See, I've just, just heard this. I've never been like I don't. It's a word. All right. Jewish person. It's a shiksa. We're oh. going to have Yiddish one hundred and one. Yeah, let's my let's friends. do that. That's all we're doing. I, I love how this. This is a Jewish podcast. Actually, it all, it all goes to the well, Jews. It's Jcast. The Jcast. We're getting my lecture on Jewish American princesses now. Yes, yeah, <laughs> we're getting to it. I want to. <laughs> she came, she came from, from. Everybody it. comes prepared except for me to this podcast. She was like, "I want to talk about because we were talking about." <laughs> Jewish American princess on the last podcast, and her posture just activated. And she was like, "I need to talk about this." I feel like you 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 put the word Jew in in most of your sentences as words. Like like you came in, you were like, uh, "What word did you just use?" Uh, Jew? No, Jew. Fuck. Jew. Hey. Do you remember the word you just used? Uh, uh, the... Shiksa? No. You were Yiddish. Like, you were like, uh, Something. Goy. What's what's the word with Jew in? Are we? Can we? I don't know. Jubilee, like that, like that. Like that. Like you'll be like, hey, it's, it's, we're having a jubilee. Like you'll do <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> but sometimes people ask me how Jewish are you, and I'm like, I'm Jewish. I didn't invent that joke Jewish at all. Jewish is a good Yeah, yeah. And... <laughs> He's a lawyer. <laughs> He's just <laughs> never going. <laughs> Man, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> fuck, I, I don't know because I've been going to Marcy a lot. Not a lot. Like four times this last couple weeks, and uh, I walk. It's, it's where um, it's Orthodox Jews. Oh yeah. And with the uh, super, it, they look like their own cult. Like Williamsburg. Is it Williamsburg? Is it Marcy Avenue? Marcy Avenue. Yeah, yeah Marcy Avenue. I think yeah, so. yeah, yeah. She always does. She does it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the intermission portion of the Jimmy People's Mic. Never play music while anybody's okay. here. All right. This is something I don't talk about that often. Yeah, do it. Let's do it. I we're going to segue into it. I don't talk about my volunteer stuff mm-hmm. that much, but I do volunteer. So ask me all the questions you want about the people who who are the um, – they're, they're, yeah. they're very orthodox. They're Hasidic. They're very orthodox. And I volunteer to teach them English okay. because a lot of them only speak Yiddish. Yeah, so which is sexy. Female Yiddish. Yiddish sex- 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 yeah, I got on a train. Yeah. And it was when she had the uh, – what's the wig called? Somebody told me the other day. Shagel? The shagel. She had the shagel on it, and she bumped me in, and she said, oh, excuse me, so I'm sorry. The terrible accent. <laughs> terrible accent. <impression. laughs> Apparently, she's from Jamaica. Really sorry with me. All my accents are Jamaica. <laughs> she, she was like, oh, I'm so Only sorry. Jew from Sexy Jamaica. Sexy as hell. I was like, oh, but I know she's, like, married or whatever. That's Super like hot. taboo. Huh? Is that's it? like taboo to brush yeah. elbows with a guy who's not your husband or even a guy who is but your she's husband she's on the train she had bad legs like she, no, no, she, no. She, it was an accident look in but, but if you fall on somebody and it, what, how are you supposed to like brace yourself with this people I think if it's an accident it's not a sin don't quote me on that yeah. like I said I'm Jewish yeah. so I don't oh, you're gonna sin with me baby I don't gonna... know I don't know <laughs> <laughs> and I want to meet one who's about to have a divorce or not oh that's not allowed really you know that men have to give the divorces Oh, so is that the one where they like, say it three times? Is that or is that? I think that Muslim? might be a totally different religion. Different I don't. Religion. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. Sounds like a genius. <laughs> different religion. Different religion. You gotta say it three times, and then you have a divorce. Yeah, no, the guy can give a divorce. So the woman can't. I want a divorce. No. I want a divorce. Yeah. I want a, It's not like yeah, beer juice. It doesn't just say that. Look at look at that. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's a real. Divorce. I think it's Muslim, I right? You divorce, know, divorce, divorce, divorce. Yeah. I love this You know what? At the wedding, you walk around each other seven times, maybe. So, We're mixing up so, weddings and divorces and magic numbers. So what if her husband know. dies? What happens? Well, then she's a that. widow. She's a widow. She has to wear she the wig still. Mar- oh, shoot. That's a good question. Yeah, you can tell I'm not religious enough. Yeah, to I, need, I need a uh, I need uh, right after. Like, as soon as she takes the wig off. She's can like, we postmate a rabbi? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say she keeps wearing it. I'm sorry. The, from people who are Forever. watching this podcast, please correct me. Yeah. From how, being religious. How Jew are you? I, I, I don't know. 
she can get remarried. She can get remarried. She can get remarried. Yeah. To a black guy who's not Jewish. Who is Jewish? A black guy who is Jewish is totally fine. It's not that hard to convert. I don't want to ask any personal questions. There's only one hard part about converting to a man. And you know, you know what I'm talking about. When, There's only one difficult part of converting for a man. Do you know what I'm talking about? Would it do something to a penis? I don't know. Usually, usually babies, I, you know, I'm not going to ask Circumcision? you. Circumcision? Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm good. So I'm black. It's so easy I'm for you to, so I'm, to so convert. I'm so I just have to You have the right to convert over it. Oh. Huh. All right. Well, Jimmy's supposed to be Jewish. Circumcised right here. For, for 10 days because Jimmy only does short-term relationships. So, uh. <laughs> you just. Unconvert, go back to eating pork. And then go back. Words. You know what else is short term? Circumcision. Ah! Let's talk about it. Let's, let's talk about these Jewish American princesses. Let's just get into it. Jap- no segue. <laughs> uh, 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 where did that come from? You know, I think why, it's been a term for thing? decades. I. You know, just using daddy's credit card or whatever. I don't know. There's some song from, I heard, I remember hearing in the 80s when I was a little kid, like, Jewish American princess, the yeah. shopper of the year. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> 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 if I sing that, I'm just like, what? what? I've never said that. That's so funny. My sister's album. I think it was like two old cranky Jewish men or something. I don't remember the exact mm-hmm. name of the album. But yeah, <laughs> and it's like all about using daddy's credit card. I don't know. Yeah. It's like Princess Vespa from Spaceballs. It's oh. too obscure of a No, I get that, yeah. Exactly yeah, 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 that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Jewish princess. Like Italian type of, uh, the, the, uh, the mob princess. They have the mob yeah. princess and they have, I've heard that, mob princess. No? Have you? And I've seen those like in Philly there were a couple. I've watched The Sopranos. Yeah, Sopranos. And I met uh, yeah. uh, uh, jo- uh, John Gotti's granddaughter. Okay. Very mob princessy. Really? Yeah. Wow. Doesn't Jewish. surprise me. But, but Jewish, yeah, no. It sounds hot though. It sounds, right? It yeah, sounds hot so until nice. you watch like Real Housewives of any state. No, I mean it's Jewish American princess. I think it's a lot of like. Oh, Jewish American. Like, like I thought only, you only, 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 no, only, only those guys. Yeah, culture, but Jewish not American not princess. Like, like, only, only like way like, better. Uh, like Italians, Jews. I've heard Indian. Uh, Indian. Yeah, there's no African American princess, right? No, know. there's no black girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got money for that. Yeah, we're going crazy. Whatever the commonalities across the big hair, nice uh-huh. car, nice clothing, obviously designer clothing. Yeah. On your shoes, probably mm-hmm. handbags. Who you wear? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So, so where's the line between the Orthodox, uh, the, the uh, like the wives, yeah. and the and Jap sound like such Jewish a Jewish American bad, yeah. yeah. They have, you know, they have the families with money in those communities. They have the families who everybody knows those. So the families with a lot mm-hmm. of money. They're a little bit like royalty in that community, you know. So they're wearing the designer clothing too. They just they have it tailored so that. You know, it's modest, and that's it. You just go with the flow. They have, like, dynasties. No, it's like the head rabbi. Oh, man, how complicated do you want me to get into? Go, 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 go. please. The head rabbi, (laughs) the dynasties, and, yeah, like, literally, it is almost like princess, like, the royalty, the Mm -hmm. children and the grandchildren of, uh, you know, the people who are high up, you know, in the, what do you call it, the religious, like, the head rabbis and stuff. The rabbi's daughter? Yeah, and granddaughter. the rabbis are, are, that's so weird. They're like almost like the royalty in that in that community, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's like, is that a Jewish American princess? I don't know. I don't think that's what that means. I don't know. I don't actually know anything. Why did I say it was an ex parent this? Anyway, <laughs> you brought it to me. I brought this up. Yes. What am I talking? About? No, I think Jewish American princess is a little bit more like I picture like a ballet girl with dad's credit card. I don't know why I picture that. A ballet girl. Valley girl. Value. With like teased hair for some reason yeah. it's just a stereotype uh, and I, yeah she, a stereotype and she, she eats matzo a crackers bit. like you don't even have she, to like imagine hard butter. to know it how they sound it up piece by piece i don't know matzo we're, we're always eating matzo we oh my god i don't know why what, what, matzo was, we big, what? Matzo was uh, big in my house like we we just like the honest, big, can i the be big, honest with you only non-jewish people like the taste of matzo yeah and like Jewish people like, I have to eat matzo during really? Passover. Sucks ass. It wasn't religious yeah, for us. It was just a huge cracker. And instead of eating like a bunch of little crackers. Bigger, better. Huge cracker. We like the huge crackers. 
home. It's like, we've got some huge crackers at home. Let me introduce yeah. you to my mother. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> That's good. I like how you pull that out. You like, yeah, I've had it. this oh. for so long. Let me dust out my matzah cracker joke. I've been watching my class. <laughs> on me. Wait so long for this. For this people's mic. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. But where are you from? Originally, mm-hmm. I grew up in Stamford, Connecticut, and then I moved to Northampton, Massachusetts, and I've been yeah, living in Brooklyn in a long Arrow? time. Dude, living in Brooklyn? I'm sorry. It is high. I've been living I've in Brooklyn never for a long time. I don't even know. I moved to the city when I was 22. So, nine years I've been living here. City of Manhattan? You're from Brooklyn? Yeah, I was started in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I like worked my way south. I lived like 151st, then 137th, <laughs> then 111th, and 107th. And I'm just like, let's just move to Brooklyn. This is. <laughs> That's, probably, that's somewhere I'll probably never go. I'll never go to Brooklyn. No matter, no matter, I don't know why. Yeah. I'm from the Bronx. And you, God, you, if you're from the Bronx, you don't go to Brooklyn. It's a, yeah. it's sort of boring. You know what? That's the used thing. to be. I know it's, you know, it's, just, it's like a borough thing. It's an old hip-hop thing. But you don't, you don't go to. But the accents are like the same. Yeah. So yeah. you have to. It's, it's the same. It's all New York. Together. Like, like, yeah. like, 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 you know. When, when the teams play somebody from out of town, we're all together. But, right. Yeah, that's but, how you unite. The, yeah. Yeah, because the here. Bronx doesn't have a basketball team or a football team or none of that shit. But it actually uh, doesn't have shit. We have cool ass people. We have hip hop. That's what we have. That's true. We'll, so hip-hop. you know, that's all we need. So is the hip hop? Is there Call like a difference me. between Brooklyn and Bronx hip hop? I don't even know. There used to be not not. I, not I, don't, I don't think more. any as much anymore. Cause no, it, not it's, really. It's all it's all it's all commercialized now. Oh, I don't well. think it's like, you know they they it's still nineties hip hop, but I don't think. I'm, I don't really listen to young hip hop now. Well, you can't. I think it's starting to come back. Mumbling. Yeah. yeah, so it's a lot of his mumble rap. And well, they're more focused now, kind of uh, how um, Bone Thugs and Harmony was, where <laughs> they they focused a lot of attention on on the beat and the yeah. melodies, and then the words came with that. Yeah. And we were so used to an era of like, like just basically. Um, like Kendrick Lamar's and J. Cole's and like everything like that, where for the words mattered more than just the beat, which is where I think Pharrell's uh, four beat rhythm for like everything kind of played a big role into that. To like, what's the word? This this is me take, giving uh, it back like, to the Jews. Yeah, yeah. Take I, I like I like how, take, take it away, Jews. Take it away, Jews. <laughs> 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 I, I, I like when I'm, when I'm when I a young a young Jewish guy and, and girls and and ladies they they uh they know a lot of hip hop trivia. Like you meet a Jewish guy and he'll he'll know more yeah. hip hop than necessary. That is a phenomenon I've definitely noticed among my Jewish male friends. Yeah. I, I sort of really? defer to their hip hop wisdom. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know why. No? What is right, that? Right, Joe? Oh, uh, yeah. Joe, sure. out of nowhere. Blue, no. Yeah, the Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys. I really want to know. Oh, man. Can I take it back? 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 Yeah, Bust and Rise. Tupac. Well, maybe you think it's like their outlet for like being like stuck in the culture that they like were grown in or whatever like that. Maybe. Like they think it's like a great outlet. Like you know how some people have like podcasts or certain music and stuff like that that they can maybe be like, oh, it's my escape. It's yeah. fucking yeah. dope. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. Maybe there's a feel of like feeling of being like an outsider kind of, and you're like it like touches yes. your heart. You're like, yeah, so I'm listening to this yeah, music. That's and, what hip yep. hop does. Yeah. And, uh, uh, let's talk about. Uh, here's a dumb thing I did. I uh, uh, Trump's ban on on birthright. Wait. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The, For this what? is what it, it, I thought. It meant two different things. I, I thought. I thought the Jews were about to lose their shit, and he was talking about the birthright of them going to Israel. Israel. Yeah. I thought he was banning that. Oh, he's banning that. That's no. what. I, that's what I thought. I no was like, oh, Jews are gonna lose Israel. their shit. No uh, free trip to Israel. Yeah. Yeah. What you thought? I was like, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Like, Israel, that's right. right. That's <laughs> Jews aren't getting mad enough at this guy. Do you right? know what the airfare is? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, no. like, like, oh, I was like, you can't get that. Right? Like, there's no after birthright, so I'm not that mad. But, but that's not. What I wanted talking. to go on the birthright <laughs> trip, but I was like, I was like, that's a I cool thing. I thought was the only Jew who never went. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It is far. It's, it's far. far. It's like a long. It's a free trip. I was like, he's taking away the free trip. Oh man. That's, <laughs> that would just be so devastating. But yeah, no, I think they call it birthright because 
you can, I don't even know if this street, you can, like, just any Jewish person could just literally be like, hey, Israel, can I be a citizen? And they're like, yes, you just yeah. get citizenship if you're Jewish. So that's yeah. nice. Are you Jewish? Do you know this? Do you know? Yeah, I know, but I didn't so, know that, you know, like, that was, um... Ah, is that the real thing? Or the yeah, that's thing? real. You can be a citizen of Israel if you're Jewish. So you just become, I don't know how difficult it is exactly. Like, you have to probably fill out a form. Hey, I'm here! Pass on! You can become, you can, if you, you can be like, Jewish, hey, I'm you can Jewish. be a citizen. So I can become, I can, I can, yeah. I can uh, uh, convert and say I'm Jewish. Can I stay? You ought to convert. You have to have the forms or whatever. I have a rabbi sign off. I think you need three rabbis. Three? God damn. This is a lot of work. <laughs> 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 oh, problems. Oh, I'm to my end for your rabbis. A triumvirate? Yeah. Like the three kings? <laughs> 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 and I would just stay. I'm here. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I like something. <laughs> something. <laughs> I like how, how, how the Jews shun Christianity, but but they have so many, like, uh, uh, um, what is it called? Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, 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 uh, uh, traditions. So many traditions. Yeah, like we have the, a song the three about kings. it. There yeah. are more holidays than Don't you get like every Monday but one off all year? Like, oh, there's uh, so many gosh, Jewish yeah. holidays. Yeah, there's a lot oh, of holidays. We no, just, no party. You, but there's no <laughs> party. There's, there's no party. And then it's like, oops, we have to take off Christmas too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Like, ah! <laughs> 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 at least once a week, and I mean, yeah. if nothing else, that twenty-five hours. I'm just saying like, this yesterday. Yeah. It's, it's 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 always a party on Christmas because yeah. I, I don't I don't I try not to celebrate Christmas. It's quick, and Thanksgiving, and uh, you go to a Chinese restaurant, and it's all celebrate. just Jews and old black guys. Really? Yeah, all black guys don't celebrate. I don't What's holidays. I don't celebrate. Well, 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 I guess Jews don't celebrate a holiday. But then old right. black guys just don't have families, and then they just a gather Chinese together. And, but and Chinese, like, Chinese food is the only thing open. Yeah. So on, on the, and yeah, Chinese don't celebrate American holidays. So well, you can go to the kosher restaurants if you live in Brooklyn. No, you're, you're in Jersey. Brooklyn, the only thing, the only like thing open is a Chinese right. restaurant. No, everything no, closes. No, you're right, you're right. Italians yeah. close, pizza shops close. Why is everything All the fast closed? foods. McDonald's. I will get a food truck for right. Christmas time. Yeah. Christmas. There's nothing open. I will just make what You'd a, make a pancake. Killing. The hardest pancake. thing to do is find something to eat when you don't want to cook on, on Christmas or Thanksgiving True. Oh, holidays. Boston Market. It's not bad. Boston Market really? is sad. It's super sad. They're, they're, they are open. They, it's sad, but it's not right. It's, 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 it's it not better. even homeless people. It's like aliens <laughs> that, that <laughs> don't know how to celebrate and they just all. <laughs> <laughs> I need a thick ball. Ah. Those the lady missing the nose and. The, People who miss why I get guards. it on DoorDash. People who can't come out when other people can come out. Oh man, I get yeah. it on DoorDash, so I don't have to mingle yeah, with society. Yeah. That's, even, that's even better. Good. Um, um, what, what are you struggling? What do you, yeah, what do you wake up to? I'm like, God damn, you roll out of bed. I don't. I mean, I have a baby, <laughs> so I don't tissues. actually sleep. So that's a yeah. nice thing. I don't have to like. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> you're, you're my go-to guy. You're okay. fucking sweet. <laughs> Yo. Okay, you need a tissue, you need a tissue. <laughs> I, you know, I don't wake up and think, oh, what's bad with my life, because I just don't sleep. No, so just that's a job. Really show. Just, just, you know, this is what I need to do. I just, yeah, I'm like a naturally lazy person by nature. I like it. And I, I do work hard when, you know, I have to, mm-hmm. but it's like I struggle with, like, self motivating <laughs> it's kind of bad i don't like to admit i'm lazy that's like a really bad quality right yeah. but i just i don't know I, you do a, you do a podcast five days a week right how do you uh-huh. how do you like i'm, I'm motivate yourself I, 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 thank you. <laughs> faster than sad faster with my napkins <laughs> you have some backup i like yeah. that as a jewish mother i like you <laughs> but, i my here is the thing people say hey you wake up early i struggle like 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 Struggle makes you better at doing things. Like, like if you were poor for a long time, you know how to do things differently. So, so yeah, I had to back up years, which made me get up earlier, go to bed on time, get up, and like, and now it's just routine. You know, I, I, I sleep three hours. I'm up at three. I snooze three times. Get up, get out, and and get it on. And then my commute here, I deal with so much shit. By the time I get to the city, I'm amped and ready to go. And everybody's like, oh. But in in that doing that constantly, you know, it's a rhythm. It's a muscle. Yeah. It's a muscle and a rhythm. It's like so now it's like it's like you can from where? Where do you from uh, Jersey? Come on. Yeah, I can move from Jersey. So it's about an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. Yeah. Where are you uh, shut the fuck up. We're on a podcast. Oh, I don't want these motherfuckers <laughs> researching and shit. 
<laughs> we'll be taking questions from the crowd now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please line up yeah, yeah. behind the microphones that are set up yeah, in, the, right? in the Beacon Theater. Look, in, in, in a year, we're going to have 100,000 viewers, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> and mathematically, do I just go to math? Well, we got oh, Asians, too. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. No Asians here. Hey, Mike, 10% of, of, of 100,000. 10,000. 10,000. 10,000. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, yeah, right? You, you're good with that. Yeah, there we go. That's a, that's a lot of stalkers right there. 10%. That's, that's a lot of stalkers. People, that's a lot of people showing up in my house. I don't want that. Well, and but but I know how to break stalkers. I'm, I'm, I'm a stalker breaker. So I'll put those motherfuckers to work until they disappear. I've done it countless times. <laughs> like they just show up like, yeah, do some laundry while you're here. And they just start doing laundry and just want to be around. Yeah, stalkers must not have that much better to do, right? Nothing like, better right? to do. So you just break them. You, you, right. Instead of going, I don't want you around. Be like, yeah, I want you around. Run a thousand, one, yeah. ten <laughs> miles. <laughs> run ten miles. Perfect exercise. Oh, yeah. Don't oh, run yeah. a thousand oh, oh, miles. Oh, I had, I had gym partners galore. <laughs> So they just broke. Wait, so your stalkers get like free personal training? Yeah, they get training from you. Yeah. Oh, kind of free. But so this is like yeah, you get um, them. So they used to like yeah. them paying him. It's yeah. fantastic. Oh, yeah, it's all his shit. Done. Come on, commercial. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> it's so off Maybe the rails. Like a motivation, Jewish. something huh? Jewish. Maybe our Jewish. Uh, she just knows. There's got to be a, one Jew in there somewhere. Yeah, you gotta get like your DNA tested or whatever. Yeah, that twenty three and me. I like wasted my money on the DNA test. It's like you're ninety nine percent Ashkenazi Jew. I'm like, I knew that already. Why did yeah, I pay I money? Don't. How many other shit? <laughs> I, I feel like they're looking for like mutants. I feel like they, it, I don't know. I don't trust it at all. They're, they're looking for something. Oh, yeah. maybe yeah, I don't know. You know, that's they, why I have they're waiting for it. Yeah. They just show up in black suits and be like, "Oh, you're the guy." And then. The government knows DNA anyway. Yeah. You go get your haircut. They're sweeping up the thing, but they're yeah. actually like taking your DNA. Taking, I don't know. Absolutely, yeah. everything with the, the, with the 23 and me, then the face recognition, face uh, scan, iPhone yeah, 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 yeah. That, that iPhone face recognition bullshit is scary as fuck, and I hate it so much. I, I do. I've, I've recently started doing the FaceTime. I, I, I talked a lot of face? shit about yeah. it. Yeah, because. Yeah. Yeah, well, because I, I do STR. I'm trying to make STR a thing. I, I do a lot of STR, and I talk to women overseas, and then you kind of want to see them. So what's STR? STR is, a, well, when, you, when you're on dating apps, he looks like he just took a space capsule from 1972. Here, have a seat right there. You're, you're my hero. Uh, ST, well, when girls on dating apps, they'll be like, hey, I want LTR. I want long-term relationships. Oh. So one day I was like, I don't want that. So I tossed <laughs> out an STR. And then like girls would be like, hey, I'm only in town for 10 days. You want to hang out? And it became a thing. And I was like, yep, all into that. That's all of them. I'm trying to make it religiously my thing. So uh, it's just short-term relationships. So, oh. so See, I tell girls that. Yeah, yeah, it's no. my It's bullshit, but. You know, girls, some girls are into it. Girls come in town and be like, "I just want to hang." You yeah. go through a quick relationship, ten days. It's the best, best part yeah. of every relationship. Just ten days. You, you, the, the day two, we're kissing in public. They start to call already. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> All guys are like STR. I want STR. Short term because tons of girls come in town. Yeah, as long. As Hey, if everybody's happy. Yeah, everybody's good. Here's, here's, I actually like the transparency the of the STR. Yeah, we have, we have breakup sex on day nine. I'm taking yeah. to the airport. We're crying at the airport. Oh. And <laughs> I never see her again. You have people like on their 10 day like oh, vacations. Yeah, and yeah, saying, yeah. No. yeah. It had it so fast. Like one girl's yeah. like, yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow. So, boom, boom, boom. What are you going to do? Quick. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. She was good. I was good. Uh, uh, the best yeah. part. You ever do a twenty-four hour relationship? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, like like those don't happen every day. Don't don't. But they're out there. They're out. Somebody who's just lonely. I've been in New York for ten days and nobody's talking to me. Oh, <laughs> I've heard his biceps like. Did you, did you? <laughs> so many times though. Some guys are crazy, yeah. but 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 it's fun. I, it's fun. I'm having fun right now. I think you're getting a lot of good stories out of it. So many. So many. I mean, some 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 are like, I can't even tell that. But it, is it's, that bad? It, uh, it's crazy. It's it's. Now I feel like I need an example. Um because... um, ugh. because because then they want. I might be oh, like, okay. hey, I do the podcast, and then they like, if you can listen, some girls actually That's true. only a handful. That's so I know the crazy ones. So you don't like, kiss and tell. Okay, fine. That sometimes I mean for the podcast, I do. Most. Most. It keeps me honest. Most but, stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. Only a handful. But okay. they go back, and some girls go back and they'll listen to the podcast and be like, I'm okay. And that's the last text I'll ever get. <laughs> 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 but that's what happens. Like, if, you, if you're honest, good. Well, you can tell some stories and just, if you, if you no, know. No, I because yeah, the things I do, I'll go to the movies on Tuesday. Yeah. That's my thing. Uh, oh my and I go, I'll play pool on Friday. And then uh, those are the things I do. Everything yeah. else is common. All right, so either yeah. you want to go to movies or we're going to play pool, and then that, that's our going out, and then you can hang it out. So we'll go to the movies, and then the movie day gets weird. Movie day, because who's not a lot of like if, if you have to be super confident with yourself as a woman to go out with a guy that you've never met, yeah, to a movie to sit in the dark, yeah, and just trust that the guy's kind of oh, you know, not even trust the guy, like I'm a cool guy, I'm you know what, if you don't want to <laughs> touch or buy popcorn, we're watching a movie, but if you want to touch and Get physical? I'm for that too. I'm a so, cool guy. Huh? I'm a cool guy. If she grabs my hand during the movie, or she sits close, or she pulls up the seat and sits close, then she's cool. I'm, I'll I'll make advances until she pushes my hand away. You know? Yeah. That's a great I had that sex. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah. So when you go on the first date, do you guys meet thing. up for? You like literally shake hands, nice to meet you, and you walk into the theater. If like, I could tell when it's going good, if we're, if we're texting the whole time up until the point, like if we're texting back and forth, it leads to a phone call, and it, this, this transitions. If we all the way up to it, and then by the time we see each other, it's like, hey, it's like we're dating already. Yeah. But sometimes it's awkward. It's like, uh, we haven't really been talking, but we're we'll do this movie shit. Well, and then, I, then I know after yeah. the movie, it's just a big break. It's like we're never going to see each other again. Do, but uh, Do you have like a specific genre of movies that are like more... You know, sometimes like I let her pick. Sometimes it's something I want yeah. to talk about. Yeah. Like I remember when I went when I went to see Black Purge. I wanted to talk about it. Yeah. So I, and I went to see the movie. I was like, oh shit, they made Black Purge, and which is the first Purge. Just and then it was a horror movie, and uh, and it's really hard to have sex during a horror movie. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. They, you ever had you ever had sex in a horror movie? Hard. It's like I'm watching a movie, getting a hand job. It's like this is crazy. Yeah. Like, like she doesn't see what's going on. Yeah, like, like, go see a rom com, but. It happened. We had we did it, and then we did it again in The Incredibles Two. Oh, yeah. That's a good movie. Disney yeah, movie. Disney movie. Because kids always look forward, so they don't worry about what's going on in the back of the theater. We got it. Yeah, we just do our thing in perfect theater. You know, nobody's in the back. And that's a, that was a good movie, right? So it, like, well, what I saw was, was on in the last. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, that's happened. Ooh, times, yeah. Yeah. In Deadpool, I've had sex with Deadpool. Deadpool? In Deadpool, yeah, I had sex with Deadpool. Oh man! <laughs> Dark Knight. I didn't know. No. What Dark Knight? Yes, the sex Dark Knight with 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 your wife though. No, not my wife. Wait, you already had sex with your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you ask? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 my wife. No, I meant, I meant that. That's your you're gimme. Really like, sex you you okay? can. <laughs> no, that's not. easy. That's yeah. it. Like she's supposed to want to have yeah. sex with me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 There's no adventure. It's like ah. this. This is where I met yesterday. You know, that's oh. the, that's a plug. There you go. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a challenge. Where are all the ushers at? That there's no. There's no more ushers. Don't, no, don't I, I don't even want to tell this story. I went to go see Alpha. Al- Alpha, the the movie about the, how men made dogs. Oh, yeah. Docile, yeah, yeah. stupid fucking movie. I went to go see that just because it's a free movie pass. And this this fucking the usher because they they it was a it was a free screening so they don't want you to tape right. So she comes, only black guy in the theater. So she stands by me. I right, think I'm gonna. I get, assuming I'm gonna take, and then she sits with her ass in my face the whole movie. It's like the last seat, big black woman. It just huge ass in my face, and I'm like, I can't move. I can't be like, yo, can you go somewhere else? I'm like, cause if you fart one time, <laughs> one time, like usually I'm like, mm, but now I'm just mad. And the, but that's the that's the last time I actually saw. Wait, were you with a date? That no, no, that no. no. I was gonna okay. go. She didn't even come. She she was. I got stood up that night. No, I was thinking like that would be even worse. Sometimes they get scared. Like Asian women get scared a lot, and then and then bow out the last minute. That's a bad pun. They just don't come. Uh, <laughs> 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 what, if, what if they're like, no, I don't want to go with you today? But, uh, <laughs> that would be kind of polite, though. Yeah. Like they they go so to like, no, meeting you in person and bow. Like, this, this, this podcast got like, so no racist. So, uh, yeah. Hey, you're Jewish, right, Shana? I should have had you on. Shana doesn't want to do my podcast. We talk about Jewish American princesses. Ah. 
Uh, yeah. Would it, would that be you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the hair says yes. The hair. Yeah, well, the, I know what. I can't fucking. I can't do anything. About you can't do anything else. Would you go bald? Would you ever go bald? I've actually thought about it. You should like the side, just the side That's one. The thing, like you. Yeah. 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 Cause cool. you're cute. You can do it. You can. You could. You will. It, it, it won't be so involved when you'll realize how Jewy my hair is. <laughs> 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 this looks like a villain. Uh, <laughs> like, I have two small nose today. That's, that's fucking awesome. Um, um, let's go to Saturday. What, what, we gotta, what, what are you struggling with? Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love asking white guys that question, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> me? <laughs> Like a dove comes out of it. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. what is this? Um, <laughs> we'll, wait. we'll wait till tomorrow. We'll bring it back to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking it all day on the train. What am I struggling? At <laughs> 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 the mic on stage. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble like saving money a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Money. Okay. Really? Yeah. Wow. So disappointed in you. I All right. Know. He said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, motherfucker. Well, I, <laughs> I can't take a break. Come on. Get down. I'm No. So much pressure. So, so put that white privilege on the table. Just pull your part out. I have to take them out. Uh, <laughs> call call your, your dad or something. something. I don't know. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, no. Yeah, money sucks. Yeah. Uh, I, feel, I feel like when I get on top of the bills, there's always a new bill. Yeah. It's like, where the fuck did you come from? I just paid you. I just paid you. Were you chilling on the step? That's all fucking funny. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get that shit together. I wish you the best. Thank you. <laughs> Are you dating now? What do you know? That's, That's a terrible cool. transition. Well, I'm married. Fuck you with your life. I'm not married. So I'm not dating. I'm not married, married on the podcast. Is he Jewish? Yeah, he is. He's Jewish. He okay. Is. okay. 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 So, uh, you want me to interview Jews today? Just, 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 no. Why I'm Jewish. He's not even Jewish. He said he was we were talking about Jewish American princess. I know why it's a little hard. Don't tweet yeah. about this, uh-huh. Shana. Yeah, it's an honor of the approaching Sabbath. That's, you're having Another Jews. holiday. You're yeah. having Jews. I didn't even know about the Sabbath. It's, it's Sabbath every is Friday just Saturday, night. It's right? every Friday night. Every Friday is Sabbath? Sunset Friday to Sunset Saturday. Oh, they got that. Is, yeah. that, is that a celebration? Is that a party? It, yeah, you, you don't have to do it. You can't work. You're not allowed to work. So you, what else is there? I like do that a party, holiday. take a yeah. nap. What is the walking everywhere <laughs> you can't drive. What is the walking So about? you can't use electronics. Uh, oh. Including cars. You can't, you can't use your phone. You can't use your phone. Uh, you, you don't use your phone. You can't that. use your phone. I can't tweet. It's kind of Amish. You can't right? even go like on the train. Just you once a week for like lot. low-key Amish. Wow, yeah, yeah. That's how it works. I can't, I can't be religious at all. I, I don't like rules. Yeah. I think the Amish have better food though. Than Jews? Don't too. insult my potatoes. I, love I do love Jewish food. Is there good, good food? Chop <laughs> <laughs> Really? Uh, <laughs> it's a great, man. Gizzards? Have you tried it? Gizzards? What's that? Liver. Oh, liver. Liver, yeah, it's okay. I feel like we need to go to a Jewish deli after this. Or no. Really? Wait, wait, wait. wait. You try you a bunch of chopped liver? We used to. No. Hearing this, like, 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 like my grandmother used to make chopped liver. Yeah. And we used to put A1 sauce on it. Uh, and so it made That's, it better. It's like anyway, we used to put A1 sauce on everything. That's a chopped liver, right? That's it? it? Yeah. It's the same? I, I yeah, I eat it like once I don't know. I don't even eat it. Somebody else tell me. I don't know. Sounds good. I don't even know. I've heard that word. What is good filter fish? Is that the fish with the head on? It's a fish. I don't know what it looks like, but it's a ball of fish. It's just ground up other different types of fish, and you mush them together the hot dog into fish? like a ball. Is it or a, a kind of what? Of it's like the hot dog yes. of fish? Yeah, thank you. Perfect. It's like the hot dog of fish. It's a kosher, hot dog of fish. the kosher hot dog of fish. Is it like your <laughs> bologna? I don't know. Who's bologna? It's like spam. Oh. <laughs> spam is Yeah, Jewish spam? Fish goes with every jam. I just made that up. The filter fish, you really? Yeah? Does what? fish go with everything? That's no, that's hell the no. Theory. Fish does not go with. Everything. I don't even eat fish. No? I don't know. I'm just. I don't know why I said that. It doesn't make sense. Fish doesn't go with ketchup. Fish, no. I'll have pancakes no. and fish for breakfast. 
Hot sauce. Fish goes the hot sauce. Hot sauce? A1 okay. sauce. Yeah. Barely. Jewish people don't use hot sauce, though. So what? you just have really? to <laughs> oh, oh, really? Really? Like horseradish, yeah. like you said. Really? Maybe horseradish is okay. There's no spicy. There's horseradish no... is more intense than hot sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's pretty... No, is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think I've ever asked for oh horseradish. Got to come over and have beet horseradish. People used to ask for. I used to work at a steak steakhouse, and they used to ask for horseradish. I was like, this is stupid. Like, <laughs> like, like, like you, I, I, I would never have a sit down and just chop it up with you with your horseradish. You could buy a pre chopped up. And or, yeah, the, 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 the horseradish dip, and then there's the thick horseradish, and then the Mexicans hated chopping up the horseradish. They used to be like, I don't want to do it. I don't, they used to get mad. I don't know why. Does it hurt your eyes or something? Is it like onions? Like what? I don't know. know. We got to bring a Mexican on for that. I like how these podcasts roll over to another (laughs) subject. (laughs) On Monday, we're going to have five Mexican chefs. (laughs) Tell us how much they eat chopping up horseradish. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And then Yeah, they demonstrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. (laughs) (laughs) You fucking Jews. And then it's like an anti Semitic, and then I can't do this podcast anymore. (laughs) There's just a lot of, you know what? I think sometimes when we're real and open about our stereotypes, Mm -hmm. we actually learn a lot. Yeah, from one I, another. There was there was a um there was a uh, uh an assault on the on a synagogue and they just wrote Jew on it and then they were like that's anti Semitic but I was like maybe maybe all right, I don't want to end the podcast like this <laughs> <laughs> I felt it I felt everybody gets serious and I was like I, I was like I, 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 I was like is that hateful I don't wait well was it just the word Jew it was Jew it was just anything J, else it was just J E W J E W yeah. I was like, maybe there's a guy just learning how to graffiti for the first time. You don't know who he was. Uh, no, you're kidding. You're like, shoot, shoot. It's like a sidewalk on the sidewalk. Yeah, it's like a sidewalk. It's like, it's a Jew church. I don't... It's a Jew church. Temple. Yo, I'm, I'm going to get in so much trouble just for stupid shit that comes out of my mouth. But, uh, yo, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, where can they find you online? Where can you find me online? <laughs> um, my Facebook name is Alana Shupak. Yep. S H U P A K, and my yep. first name is I L A N A. I I that's Instagram. Where I, I don't have, have a, I don't have an Instagram. <laughs> Twitter. I have a Twitter. It's Alana Shidlow because that's my maiden name. Yeah. H Y D L O, and I hope you like reading about speech therapy stuff. What website? <laughs> my website is. AlanaShidlow.com. Yeah, you have a website. Yes. Uh, Damn right, you do. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm like trying to think, does it redirect one of my other ones? It's okay. It's a website. I own it. That's. Did, did, you can go to it and something will happen. I, I, I feel like you have like cam girl websites out there that you don't want anybody to know about. That's a complete <laughs> That's a different life. Like, ugh. Um, 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 Pinterest. Pinterest? Yeah, if you, in order to do this podcast, okay. you have to have a Pinterest. Okay, Alana, you know I, you know I have a Pinterest. Yeah, yeah. see, get your, get your Pinterest together. I L A N A K N I T S. That's that is my Pinterest. About. Uh, shows, Can I show something. That one, I do. Um, on November eighteenth, I am doing a show at four p.m. at the Huron Club beneath yeah. Soho Playhouse, and I'm producing it and I'm performing in it. Damn right. All the other women on the show are hilarious and funny. And yeah, and then this this is live it's now, but this. The audio will probably be out by then. So, awesome. yeah, go see your show. Yes. Um, thank you. Where, where can you find you? Um, all my handles are the same, at Ironic Pun here. And then, uh, that's, yeah, it. That's it? Yeah. Website? Pretty much it. Um, non-existent. Pinterest? Um, gluten-free shawl 5 is Shut my uh, username. Really? Is that real? No. <laughs> oh, you're right. I was like, what? Nobody's going to find that. Oh, um, <laughs> I do have a show uh, tonight, 8 p.m. at the Misfit Hive. Uh, First show? No, no, uh, no you thought so. Bro. Yeah, time of your life with Chike Robinson and yeah. Eric Gonzalez. Yeah, Chike. Yeah, Eric. We got uh, Kenny Warren on the lineup. Yeah, Brina Kenny. Piper, Tate, Winston, Quan Wiggins, and uh, yeah. When you forget that last person, that's the one that's gonna hate you forever. <laughs> you remember my name? Ah! Yeah. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Another comic yeah. who will Some be really good. Like, you know, they're gonna remember this then, forever. Um, it's live. You just forgot a whole person. And I did not forget. A yeah. whole fucking person. Yeah, great booker you are. Yeah, do that I didn't put shit! He'll forget you. I'm uh, here uh, to... Hang on. Wait. Nope. Yeah, yeah, for, uh, still, you can find this on Spotify. I hope I beat you. Okay. Uh, Courtney, I think it's Courtney. I'm sorry. I'm so <laughs> high. Well, <laughs> give it up for him one more time. We'll get this started. This is the uh, People's Mind Podcast.